welcome back guys to Mama Joan house where it's hot on a normal set. <laughs> it's hot like a scotch bonnet pepper. Well today guys, you don't know that the last time we have a cook off and me and my granddaughter-in-law, because she's my granddaughter now, because this is my girlfriend. Hi everyone. Me and her tie in at the cook off. So you guys request that we have a duel between between each other so now we're gonna decide now so well then you know like she bring it to mama joan mama joan bring it back to her because we need to show sure, no whether she's the good cook or mama joan is the good cook. mama joan knows that she's the good cook and she young and me i bring her still but here how we are run the thing now guys you see she beat me it's okay because she's will back again with another channel so whichever one we win the challenge I will continue to go on because people like she beat me, people are going to challenge she. You understand me? So I saw we are going ready. So the challenge will be going on and on and on for the longest time. So anyway, guys, before we go any further into chatting off on ahead, I want you to like, subscribe, and hit my post notification bell so you don't miss a post or post. So now, guys, I'm just going to dive right into the ingredients so we to know where we are cooking on this challenge. So the challenge is this, guys. Where we have make. We are going to do fish, fish we are cook, and the ingredients is lemon, rosemary, caramel, and the fish. So now we have to just cook it up whichever way, or we can cook it up as some dangerous ingredients. Mm. Because we are going to do with caramel. You know, lemon good with fish and rosemary. So what? We have to make a nice dish. You know, we have to make a nice dish. We have to make a nice dish. We serve. To you guys you understand me so guys before we go any further we're gonna just dive into the ingredients and we're gonna see what it is guys so this is it we set the plate and here you see we have the lemon the rosemary the caramel and the fish and the fish what we're doing today is tilapia and don't forget guys the scotch bonnet pepper so now guys i am gonna do a pan fried um fish so i am gonna set up my uh, my batter so my batter gonna consist of my caramel with a little bit of flour i have too much caramel in here mm. so let me pour this out and do my measurement and do my measurement board guys okay let's see what do you have in your mind so i'm a new cook so oh, oh gosh that's okay um, I'm going to try something new. I am going to make some fry bake with some stew fish. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see if it goes well. So Janelle, the, the, yes, the, 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 you're going to do some stew fish mm -hmm. with what? Fried bake. Fried bake. Okay. I don't know what that is, but whatever it is, it'll probably be absolutely delicious. <laughs> delicious. So guys, for my batter, I'm going to I'm using a one-third cup of, of flour and a one-third cup of cornmeal. Mm. Yeah. So I'm going to mix this together. I'm going to sprinkle some garlic plus in there. Some uh, spicy pepper melody for my for my bath for, to mix up my thing for my fish. Um, that looks good like you could eat it now. That look like it. <laughs> <laughs> that looks very oh good. My God. And I'm gonna do some Montreal chicken. Mm. Wow, like that's my season. Wow. And I'm gonna put some adobe. Put mm. some adobe in there. Put in some adobe in there, guys. And for that, I'm gonna put some um, some cracker. So this some more. Some paprika. So this is gonna be my rub. Ah, paprika. <laughs> Listen, I say paprika. This is how I talk. Don't try to. No, I'm not judging. Me. I'm just saying, like okay. you know, I wanted them to understand. Okay. No, so we could put it right here. We're gonna put it right here. Okay, guys. In the paprika. I know, guys, I know you guys give Mali a hard time. I'm asking you guys not to give him a hard time. He was just messing around. Cause at the end of the day. He said my food was the best and my food is the best he had he ever had that. So I'm asking you guys, don't give him such a don't worry, don't worry about me. I, I know I can't take the eat still, don't but I'm just me. I'm just telling him not to not to, 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 to 
Sephora. You guys are lucky. I love you guys. It's okay. The, the fish but, is already prepared. Like it's already washed clean already. So mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about oh, that. Okay. Um, mm. Okay. Setting up the bake. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm. It doesn't look as um, nice and ready to eat like grandma but yours is just yours is just big yours you haven't excitement it is excitement mm. everything's mixed together i have not had cornmeal since i was about 10 years old because i used to have cornmeal porridge in the morning before school so that way i could hold my belly till but lunch you know, time guys that's what that's all the jamaican <laughs> people does with the poor even islands it doesn't matter we we west indian people that's how we feed our kids them for mm -hmm. cornmeal porridge can you give them the good cornmeal porridge it's what they do but our kind of my kind of cornmeal porridge is different because that all kind of stuff mm -hmm. in there so at the end of the day you just stay healthy mm -hmm. and strong mm -hmm. and the, the porridge them what we make so but your mom, that was good food that yes. your mom made for you because your mom knows that that food and that is how I get to grow so big and nice. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get my size and thing. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about where you are doing and get it. Mm. Mm. Look at the fuck of the wrist. <laughs> Look at the fuck of the wrist. Look at the fuck of the wrist. <laughs> so. For me now, this is my 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 rub for my fish. So for my fish, I'm just gonna do a pan fry fish, you know, and um, and I sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder and stuff on the fish first before I dip it into my my cornmeal mixture. So I'm gonna do this. Put a little bit of oil on this. Oh, you know what? Let me get myself some obe too. Mm. As you cannot make fish without a little obe. bit of obe seasoning on it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of obe on my fish. When in doubt, show obe. Show it. <laughs> when in doubt, show obe. Uh, listen, girl, I'm not in no doubt. I'm just giving no it a little doubt. bit of Giving it a little extra spice and a little extra seasoning, my people. You understand me? No put doubt. Some love in no it. doubt. We have to put some love in it. So, you know, like, you know, you know, really, you know. So now, I got to have to find something to serve this bad boy with when it's done. You understand me? So, I'm doing up my fish. I'm gonna take a little bit more, a little bit more seasoning on my butter, yeah? So that may have the flip. Oh, and you know what? Before I forgot, I have my rosemary mm -hmm. and I have my lemon. So I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm not gonna use that yet after I finish um, do my thing with my fish because we have to incorporate the rosemary, the lemon, the car meal and the fish. Everything has to make a meal or that it and a nice meal to serve. That's what we have to do with this. So we come over here. I'm gonna put my fish. Let me get my fish going. Oh guys, I forgot to turn on the put turn on the heat under the stove, make the aisle get hot. I'm just here chatting, 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 and my aisle don't start to have no, no bubbles, no heat. bubbles yet. So there's no bubbles in there, so I have to give it some time to get a little bit of heat. So I'm just gonna leave my fish, make it go on to rest and breathe in the seasoning that's on it, guys. And let me see what Jeanette is doing over here. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Last time we have this competition, mm -hmm. the people, them, the judges, them voted and said, Me and you tie. Mm -hmm. But then another person said, We didn't tie, I win. So I I just said, you know, that's fine, we tie. Yeah. So we ask for the cook off and we're doing the cook off now. Right. So, what do you think? Like growing up, your yeah. mom teach you for cook and all of them stuff, don't you? Yeah, it was a mixture between mm -hmm. my mom and my dad. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And but, uh -huh. we would make some very, like, you know, some very interesting style. island style island interesting style food. food. Yeah. So, Maybe like two. Two chicken, uh -huh. two veg, uh -huh. um, curry was mm -hmm. a big one. Big curry one. was a big favorite. Mm -hmm. okay. Big favorite, house favorite. Okay, so your 
your father is from Trinidad. Trinidad and your mom too? Mm -hmm. Both parents are Trinidad. Both parents. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. big up to me Trinidad <laughs> and people there. But that's mm -hmm. it. So my granddaughter-in-law, my little girlfriend, she's from Trinidad. So guys, TNT. TNT. Big up, big up to all of my TNT fans then. Okay guys? Alright. I'm just waiting for my for my oil to hot. So in the process of doing that, I'm gonna get some garlic and then I'm gonna chop some garlic because you know what? When I done with my fish, I want it to be fire mm. in the belly. You understand me? And then they make it want you slap your papa. Because you know we don't slap my mama up in here. Our papa we slap up in here. So that's what we are doing. And we'll be back. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Ooh. What do you have going on here, Jen? Um, some seasoning mel melodies. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah. Oh, mm. yeah, melody. Oh my! <laughs> wow, that the fish they look wicked. <laughs> oh, what, 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 what kind of ingredients you have going on in, in that fish there? I put some paprika. Mm -hmm. There is the let that can go in yet. Pop, paprika. Okay, so. Generally, I measure your pepper. You don't want it too spicy like the last, mm, like, last time. Like Papa <laughs> I don't want the judges to chew. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna serve my fish with some um, some potato wedges or some potato fish fry, fish and fish and potato. I'm gonna mm. serve my that my fish with that. So I'm just chopping up some potato, you know, to put in my oven. I'm going to just saute this, season it up nicely with my rosemary. So I'm making rosemary potato. That's what I'm going to do with my potato. I'm going to serve this with my fish. Okay. Mm, that fish is going to be busting. So, as we were saying about Milo. <laughs> yes, Milo, you said he doesn't have a middle name. No, Milo doesn't have a middle name. Milo just named Milo Anderson. Anderson. Yes. And trust me, <laughs> if no in name, you call him Milo. Milo. Anywhere in there, in cup run. Milo! Milo! The so ears are moving though. His ears <laughs> are moving, so I know that he's hearing me, but he's ignoring me because he's not allowed to go outside for go oh, on no. nothing. So he's Look. not he's not feeling me right now. Oh. Yeah. And if you think, like if Milo were able to speak, do you think he would have a Jamaican accent or a Canadian accent? He would have both because we speak to him in Jamaican, me and Papa Harry, and he yeah. understand everything, everything that me and Papa Harry said to him in Jamaican. Mm -hmm. Reef them speak to him in Canadian and him understand he understands. That. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So he's a versatile. So it's a versatile. Yeah, he, mm. he, he knows both languages. Nice. Yes. Mm. Things mm -hmm. starting now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> now, I'll put my fish in to get it going. And there we go. Okay. Five minutes on both sides. I'm going to do five minutes in this side and five minutes on the next side. So they get nice and brown and crispy. You know, so that's what we're looking for. Nice brown crispy. So you will come back to it when it's nice and brown and crispy. So maybe five, ten minutes on each side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm just flattening out the little dough ball to make the little fry patty or fry bake. In Trida we call it, well at least my family, we call it fry bake. Fried bake. Yeah, and a lot of times we actually make it with just flour. So this is not like a a, a, a dumpling, or it's no. not like a roti, um, something, something fly. Is it? Is it? Is it like um crispy? Yeah, so when it's flat and crispy, and then when you put it in the oil, it okay. kind of puffs up, right? And we have it usually with just flour, mm -hmm. um, and a bit of salt, and then you'll. We make it, like in my house, we make it for Christmas morning a lot of times and eat it with smoked herring. With smoked herring? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Wow. Nice and brown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
tomato. So you put seasoning and salt. Gonna put that, and I'm going to roast some tomato to it. You put seasoning salt. I put seasoning salt, rosemary. Rosemary. And some garlic powder. Okay. And I'm going to roast some tomato with it too. Okay. So that is that. Put some olive oil on it and give it a, a stir. Where's the obe? The obe. Obe is here. Honey. Oh, thank you. Yes. Some olive oil. Yes. And yes. Yes. Now I'm going to roll this. Put mm. it in the oven. Okay. I'll make it roll 350. Okay. I think I should add some more pepper. Make mm -hmm. it spicy and hot. Why not? <laughs> in the building. You already know what it is. Trying to see what they work with. It smells good. So you're ready for ready for two two wicked ones, eh? I'm trying to see who's gonna be the winner right now. Or gin. You know what I'm saying? They got two good chefs in the kitchen right now. But from, from what happened last time there was a tie, right? There was a tie. Now Jones the top chef there's only you see you should you should you shouldn't be so humble, you know what I'm saying? You should be like, nah, Mama Jones are good, but I'm gonna done that. Oh no. <laughs> well, 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 you know what? You know what? At the end of the year, it's good to be humble sometimes. Yeah. You know? So and all humble things aside, what do you really think is gonna happen during this challenge? Well, right now I'm gonna take the challenge. Nobody can beat Mama Jones in our home. You're really gonna make them talk to you like that, Janelle? Right. The best chef oh. No, Janelle, I'm not. You need to fight back. I know it's my grandma, but you can fight back. I don't mind. No, no. I honestly, may the best chef win, man. Honestly, right. good vibes all around. Good vibes all, good vibes all, all around. around. Yeah. Hey, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like how my girl thing look good still. You know what I'm saying? It really look. It look like it can work. But, hey. It looks like this is going to be a challenge and yeah, there's, there, there's gravy and that's my favorite part. <laughs> Grandma! Mm. Talk to me. Oh, I'm not a judge so it don't matter. Don't worry about me. Oh, I'm not. Oh. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> wow! <laughs> well, that come along nicely guys. Everything going great. You know? Make me challenge her here. <laughs> She's doing pretty marvelous. Like what she's stirring up there. What she's stirring up there looking very... Delicious, very yummy, and thing and thing, but scrumbly, I'm yeah. sure. But you know, Mama Joan in the house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lord of mercy, no, sir. Mm -mm. Smell that, smell that aroma mm. that's coming from the season. Mm -mm. <laughs> this just want to make you slap your papa. Yeah, tell you guys. Whoa. Make <laughs> that go on with some stir pan that. And I'll make some sauce. Oh, and I can't. 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 I
What's this, Grandma? So, guys, this is my cabbage that's gonna go on top of my fish. So, this is to go with my fish, guys. Nice. Looking, looking neat. Delicious. Smell very yumptious. Where we at? You know? We are outside mm, with on. this Mama Joan. Mama Joan house, guys. Mama Joan house. Mama Joan house. Mama Joan, I'll show you the thing. Mama Joan, yes. I'm right here. Courtesy of you. Ah. <laughs> potato. Roast potato. I can't have it. It could be too much time. Quick, quick. Okay, what is this, Grandma? What's so going on? I, I decided to chew a cornbread. So in, in this thing, I have one, I have one cup of cornmeal and I have one and a half cup of buttermilk. So I have this, so I'm gonna like put this together, let it sit a little bit. So I'm just rubbing up a cornmeal. A, it's not cornmeal, I'm just rubbing up a cornbread. So now question, this yeah, is going bread. with the food? Yes, it can taste with the food. So now I'm just, need two eggs. Put in there. We're gonna take the, that, white thing out of the egg because you know mama joan don't like her egg like her something with the membranes in her it the membranes got to go mm -hmm. but i wonder what that me call it membrane so that people call it other name but are you I, membrane it name and membrane it name that's how we may call it so take this out we need two eggs for that we sit up a little bit pour it in there and I'm going to I'm going to get put a little bit of zest, put a little bit of lemonade juice just to kill the rawness of the egg. Still good. Mix this together and then I'm going to get some melted butter. Let's mix this in. I'm going to melt some butter. Mm -hmm. What you got going on over here? Let me get some frying up the little bakes. So cute. Do you hear it whistling? Yeah. <laughs> so in here I have two teaspoons of baking powder and three one 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 fourth of baking soda and one cup of flour and then i'm gonna mix this together and then after i mix this together i'm gonna get a half a cup of melted butter and chew on this and mix that into okay guys so what kind of butter are you gonna use i'm gonna use butter butter not um I, I, I always bake with gaily butter, so I'm using gaily butter. Gaily not payment. So gaily guys, we're not we're not getting paid for advertisement, so you know gaily? Yeah. That's the butter that I use. Like butter butter, you know, as you need that. So, so guys, for my dish, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna give the judges them something to wow them. I'm gonna make them some homemade lemonade. Mm. Homemade lemonade, as in France and say. Kill, but grandma not good to kill. Grandma just, you know, fish and lemonade go well together. The tang and the tang. So to all our TTs out there, is this a familiar kind of bake for you guys? You no, think you think mommy you think mommy be proud of you right now? <laughs> I think so. I think she would. I think so. Alright, you see, so I take in the dough, right? I put it together and I go in and put it in the oil. Gosh, yeah. So now you can let it sizzle a little bit so that you can get nice and crispy. And when I get crispy, then you flip it around. 
And when you next time get Cripsy, you bring a toe. Yeah. Nervous, I can't lie. Bit nervous. Well, I am not nervous. <laughs> and I'm just putting my food on my plate, getting it going. I'm giving you, giving up, making like a full course meal here. So, guys, there is the food. We are finished with her. I'm finished with my fish my my fish with my stir my stir fry cabbage and my contestant she have to tell you guys what she make um I stew mean, fish <laughs> and fry <bake. laughs> so, so guys so now we have our three judges so we're gonna have our judges come in and taste the food for you guys and tell us what you're tasting so guys it's taste and presentation okay so they have to be able to recognize the lemon the fish with the carmel and the rosemary so that's the ingredients guys and to top it off i've made some freshly juiced lemonade on the side for my judges so there we go so judge number one is my mr youtube Badman Reef yeah, in the house as judge number one. Mama okay. Jones house. Yep. Straight yeah. off the bat, yeah. presentation for me. This one takes the cake already. I love the way that it's presented with this three. I'm guessing this is a cornmeal bake. Bake, right? Looks very beautiful with the little three lemons. The addition with the green whatever you want to call this grass that she took from outside rosemary. oh rosemary all right, all right rosemary so i'm gonna go ahead and try this take a bite wow this is actually really good I'm trying to explain what it tastes like it's a little bit a little bit on the salty side, but tastes real good. So Mama Jones, oh, you got lemonade. Mm -hmm. Try this lemonade real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what it is. Oh. Lemonade, well sour. <laughs> This is cabbage. Yeah, and a spanstier fish. Okay, so we're gonna try the cabbage. Try the cabbage first, you know. <laughs> cabbage is good. Wanna try this through? The fish is actually impressive because you can taste the season in the fish. But it's not like very seasoned, if you get what I'm saying. It's like just perfect. Like, I'm trying. It's all right, nothing too special. It's just regular potatoes. It's okay. It's okay. This fish, though, it's actually really good. Cheers! Thank you, beautiful ladies, for cooking up this food. I just want to say that I'm. Marvin! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go with this cornmeal, I guess with some fish on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I have to rate presentation. Um, I would definitely go with this one for presentation. I believe it's Janelle's. Although this looks very cute, I feel like this one is probably just a little bit more organized, in my opinion. Okay. Mm. Salty, just the way that I like. Mm -hmm. Definitely taste the fish and the rosemary. I feel like I could use a little bit more lemon, but this is popping. Mm -hmm. My Christian's hungry, so Christian's gonna finish this mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. <laughs> we go to the next one. Okay, we're going to the next one. Oh my gosh, the aftertaste of this cornmeal with the fish on top is really good. 
Mm-hmm. All right, some fish. All right, let's do this. Cheers. Is there sugar in here? Did you taste that tang that you're talking about? I did. I taste the tang. I taste the sugar. I taste the sweet. I taste that bite. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, did this. Cause you guys know I love my sweet, my sweet stuff. And add a little bit of sour, and it's just perfect. Okay. 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 We gotta move on before I'm here all day. Mm. Okay. We'll start with the potato. It's hot. And it's crispy, just the way that I like. But I wouldn't say it's like a showstopper. Okay. Moving on to the cabbage. It was good. That cabbage is really good. It has, it all, the cabbage almost has like a tangy taste to it too. Okay, the fish. <laughs> it's good. The fish is really good. It's a great amount of flavor, like Reef said but not too much. And I can taste the rosemary and the lemon. So, so that's extra points right there. But I'm gonna save my um, final rating for the end so everybody has a chance to eat because I might just um, eat it all. Okay. Okay, so upside down, flip around, apple corn over, bake, it's a tricky dish. <laughs> Very flavorful. I love the bake. It tastes like a flat cornbread, like a cornbread pancake. Not seasoned too much. I see the presentation before the plate was empty, and I picked this one for the presentation. That's cute. Okay. I'm that drink. Mix because I don't. I don't want it dead. A little spice coming from the cabbage. This is, this is nice and flavorful. I'm liking the flavor of the fish. Like it's not really overpowering the flavor of the cabbage. The potatoes kind of bland, but like you know, it blends together. Mm-hmm. Really good. Sip with a drink, perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so now guys, what you need to do, you guys pick on a presentation, you go pick on a the presentation and the taste of the food, who is the winner? So everybody picked, food? everybody picked that no. for a presentation, but we never picked any for, for taste. taste so yes. now where's taste lying? Between the two, let's food. start with Chris, Kristen. Oh my gosh, you guys are trying to make them stink things. Okay, let's start first. with Reef because Reef went first. All right, so because I got the lemonade <laughs> that just was straight sour off the top, I didn't get, I didn't get none of the real lemonade. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Let me try it again. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. And before it was just sour, there was no sugar. It was just like wow. All right, so. Presentation, 100% I picked Janelle's plate. It was presented really well. I'm gonna talk about the food a little bit. Um, love the flat, flat cornbread, baked bread. It was absolute, the texture was perfect. It wasn't too dry. It was so good. Um, with the fish, it was good. But 
the only problem that I found that it was very salty and I couldn't I wouldn't be able to eat like two 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 full things of it because of the amount of salt that I got from it but it ate good it tastes really good outside of that spicy just the right amount of spice really good this one cabbage was good I think it was great potato was very bland it was just uh you know nothing too great um the fish i think was absolutely perfect it had just the amount of flavor the texture was great so i'm gonna go with this one <laughs> so that's one for taste on for taste for taste presentation i'll go with this one still tastes good though don't get me wrong it still tastes really good okay kp all right, moving on to KP. Okay, so with Janelle's dish, I'm definitely gonna give her a point for presentation. Now the taste, everybody knows I love salty, sweet, sugary stuff. I felt like this was my thing, it was my jam. And then I bit into it and all the flavors just came running into my mouth. I mean, I got the rosemary, I got, I got the good juice. You know, you've probably seen a little bit of it drizzle down my lip. Or not? Did you guys see that? No. Bristling no. <laughs> <laughs> down the lip and all that. I, I don't even know that. what we're talking about yeah. anymore. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the only, I guess, downfall I would say I had with this dish was it left me wanting more because it was so like salty. I felt like I needed something else to kind of compensate or kind of dim down the salt a little bit. Now moving on to Mama Jones, the presentation was good, but it didn't top Janelle's. The taste, let me tell you, I got so many different tastes. I, I, I did get a lot of the lemon, which I liked. I enjoyed that a lot. And then I got the rosemary and I got the really fishy, fishy taste. But it wasn't too fishy. Like how you can bite into some fish and some fish is just like, ugh, like it's, it tastes straight from the, the ocean. It wasn't like that. So that was good. The potatoes, like I said, not really a showstopper, but with this dish, I feel like I wasn't left wanting more. Like, I, I tasted a little bit of salt, but then I was able to go ahead and get the cabbage and it was more savory, you know what I mean? So I think I'm gonna go with Mama Jones dish for the taste. Presentation for this. This to me was giving home, and this for me was giving restaurant. Definitely giving Mama Jones restaurant, not kitchen. As far as like, so which one? Rosemary. Presentation. This one. Oh, okay. So as far as the rosemary and the cornmeal and the tilapia tasting it, this one's my favorite. This one is flavorful, but this one is the ultimate favorite. Oh! oh. <laughs> so from what I'm understanding, then that's just that would be another tie. Another tie. Another tie. Let me find out Janelle to cook. Big up. Big up. That's another tie from what I'm because a point for presentation. We got three presentations. Oh, right. And two. And two. Taste and then one taste. And so that. Oh, it's a tie. So it's a tie. Yes. So guys, there you, there you go again. There you go. Janelle, Janelle can't cook, guys. <laughs> like, we come I up with I these. Judge, as the judge Jim said, we come up with these dishes, guys. And Janelle is, is knocking it out the park, <laughs> neck and neck with me. You know, me and yeah. I is doing it together. And the only way you, you guys know? can find a winner, if you guys really want a winner, yeah, is Malik. If you guys really want a winner, oh. no, Ma Malik. No, we can't use Malik for the mere senses. He's he's biased. Malik is banned. <laughs> Malik <laughs> is banned. That's what they said. That's what it is. The only time you can see me is when I'm on that side. Yeah. So. So anyway, guys, we come to the end of the cookout with me and Janice and the judges, guys. So I'd like you guys to like, subscribe. And hit my post notification bell so you don't miss a post when we post. And guys, there have to be another cookout between oh us. Hey, baby girl, good job, baby. So, so, there has so, to be a so, winner. Good so job, we have to be a winner. Good job, so both of you. So when the time is good right, job. we're gonna come back at it again. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. So guys, I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.